So this is a size 10, uh, my true to size. Zoku Runner Ultimate, I don't know what the UL, uh, uh, Ultimate, it's on their website. And then Multi, which is the, mul the multi colorway. Uh, why a Reebok Classic? I'm not sure, maybe somebody else knows about that, but either way, let's go ahead and get this open. And by the way, it does come with the Reebok paper there, so, you know, just in case y'all were interested in that. Alright, so here goes the shoe. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera real quick as well. Alright, so here you go, the Reebok Zoku Runner Ultra Knit HD, um, possibly that name, the multicolor version. I've seen these on eBay going for like a 200 250 I got mine for $130, uh, $10 shipped from sneakers and stuff, they're always, they're, their things are always uh, $10 uh, shipping there. So, as right off the bat, it's a very light shoe uh, whenever I pick it up there. It, I know it'll remind everybody. All right, everybody, I'm back. Uh, my phone got a little bit too hot filming in 4K, but I am back recording again here. Uh, as I was saying, though, uh, I know some people are going to say this is a poor version of the Kith uh, Adidas Ultra Boost collab um, because it has a multicolor, it's mid, it has the sock-like uh, collar as well. Um, I did own that pair, and I ended up selling them. Um, but this pair, um, I don't know. I, I like it a lot. Uh, we'll see if I can style it well enough. Um, but... Uh, during the process when my phone was actually dead or cooling down, um, the bottom of the shoe features a um, white and I guess like a clear translucent creamish type color around the edges right here. Uh, you got Reebok branding on the bottom. This And I didn't know this, but it actually has DMX foam uh, in there. And it seems really soft and the shoe is uh, surprisingly light um, from what I could, you know, just from holding it so far. You got the plastic, I don't know what you would call that, shroud right here. And I thought it would say Reebok right here. It looks like that's where Reebok usually puts their branding, but it's not. And that's completely fine. Um, and it looks like the laces go through this plastic shroud as well. I thought it went through the actual uh, multi, uh, the multicolor knit, but it doesn't. Um, I've been maybe joking around with the idea of maybe removing the shroud, uh, but I'm not, I got to see how that's going to go first. You got, you got Reebok branding on the heel and this leather uh, strip on the back. You have a white pool tab. Uh, you can see all the colors. You can't see through the knit as you can like an Ultra Boost because it has the white there. It's quite odd. And you have the Reebok branding right here on the tongue as well, uh, if you can see. On the medial side, uh, more of the multicolor and more of the shroud as well. And again, you got the sock light collar right here. And on the inside, you have a red, uh, it's red, and it sure says Reebok there. I haven't took the paper out or anything. Uh, I'll have to try them on later, but I heard they were true to size as well. But ultimately, I, I really like the color of the shoe. I like the shoe. I'm definitely going to be wearing it. Uh, let's see how soon I can get them on. Um, check sneakers and stuff to see if they still have them in stock if you do like this shoe, and I'll go ahead and pick it up. And uh, yeah, the Reebok Ultranet. Multicolor goodness uh, going on here. You want a super close up? Here goes the here goes the other shoe. By the way, it looks the same, but you know. Bam. Um, hit me up with any comments. If I try these on, I'll put it in the in the uh, description. So check it out. All right, guys. Oh, let me get this shot too. Happy Easter. Peace.